Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be showing you how you make thumbnails in paint.net. So I made this thumbnail in paint.net, whatever, <laughs> right here. Yeah, it's it's being weird, but um, as you can see, everything is movable, and it's it's really good. And this is a really I added shadows. You can make stuff lighter by just lowering the opacity, and making a white background. You can do all this stuff, and I'll show you today. So everyone, we will today be making a thing. I don't know. I'll come up with it. I'll come up with it through the video. So first, you start off with deleting the background and making a new layer. Don't think you don't need to change the layer background. So you can look up tutorial computer to get a face to get a face for your video so I'll go to images and we can find so what YouTube is the better thing to do because there will be a lot more people's faces on here so we just got a face right here we got a face right here we got all these faces this one looks like a good face. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a screenshot of him. And then you got to go to adobe.com, go to image, remove background. This is a completely free thing to use, no credit card required. All you got to do is make an account. So, it uploads your file and see it's there so let's download it we have downloaded it and now we look up thumbnail size and we can just copy and paste this first one and we can do new boom second one boom Always have your file thing right there. Okay, always have that. Okay, let's make a new thing. And we can go in here, open it. See, it doesn't even always work every time. So, we can do this. Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. And we can do this. And we can copy and paste it right in here. And we can make his face real big. This, you can use your own face if you have a webcam. But I don't have a webcam. So I cannot do that. And I don't recommend using other people's faces. But you can if you want. And let's say it's a thing on, let's, it's, it's a computer, it's a computer thing on Let's say, it's a video for Geometry Dash. So let's go into Geometry Dash. And let's take a picture. Let's go look up eyes by. And we can just get far into this level or let's turn off gloat because let's disconnect from the server um okay and let's say this is the level let's take a screenshot boom screenshot took it right there 
and we can immediately just boom, boom. Now we go to pictures, screenshots, go and paste the screenshot, and we got it right here. We can copy and paste. Boom, right there. If you want to make a three-dimensional effect, probably turn it. Probably turn it. And do that. Probably morph it and make it look three-dimensional. Three-dimensional. But that doesn't look three-dimensional because you'd have to add a shadow and you can't add a shadow. So you can do what you want to this. Now to add a shadow to this guy right here. You do this, you set that as black, lower opacity to middle opacity. You can set this as 50. And then make another layer, put it behind. go okay now actually actually we're not gonna do that we're gonna delete that real quick and actually that wasn't dark enough for me so we're gonna make it a little darker and now time for the text you got to text, drop, drag it to the top. You can draw it yourself. And I'll use a pink text because the level color scheme is pink. A pinkish reddish. Uh, bye. I spot right there. Boom. Boom. And you can add that. Lower the darkness. Go to paint. Boom, boom, boom. And then we got it. We've got that. Oh, forgot to do that dot right there. I spy. And then we can just do this. Boom. New thumbnail. Get rid of this one if you want to get those things. You can press it up there. We've got a thumbnail. Thanks for watching the video, everyone, and goodbye.